Hey there, and welcome to Real Investment News. I'm Mike O'Neill. It looks like the markets are going to take a bit of a dip after the opening bell, pulling back from last week's record highs. Dow futures are down 49. Futures for the S&P and NASDAQ are actually down about a quarter of a percent each. Investors are actually getting prepared for what is going to be a busy week. Tech industry heavyweights, uh, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Microsoft, Alphabet, they're all going to be releasing their earnings reports this week. Now, overseas, the big three markets in Asia all closed down. The Shanghai Composite dropped the most of just a little shy of 1%. Nikkei was only down about a hundredth of a percentage point, so not a lot of movement there. Some of the big headlines that we are tracking, the latest round of NAFTA talks wrapped up today. President Trump has threatened to withdraw if the U.S. cannot negotiate a better deal, so we'll see what happens out of Canada today. Also, the single cup coffee maker Keurig Green Mountain says it's going to buy Dr. Pepper Snapple Group to form a new company called Keurig Dr. Pepper. Take a look at what happened to their stock here. Now, shareholders are going to be paid each a dividend of nearly $104 per share. News of that merger sent Dr. Pepper up nearly 37% after hours. Take a look at that jump. It's going to start trading the day around $134 each. Now, later today, we're going to be getting some new personal numbers on personal income and spending. We're going to be breaking them all down for you in our later reports. But for now, that's it. Opening bell happens in just about a half hour. Please remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. Catch our past reports on realinvestmentnews.com. A lot of good in-depth stuff there that you want to check out. I'm Mike O'Neill, and we will see you again in a couple of hours.